Saturday morning, it's Ray Clark here on board the LV18. This will be the home of Pirate BBC Essex from tomorrow evening and through until 3 o'clock on Monday. Just looking around, we can see the Orwell, we can see the store. Uh, the ferry went out a little earlier. One or two leisure yachts around over at Felixstowe with the huge container ships. Uh, I can see uh, the Harwich lifeboat, the Harwich offshore lifeboat, and one or two of the other remnants of the fleet of light ships. Of course, those that still remain are all automatic now. No longer are there crews on board. In fact, the LV-18 was the last manned light ship off our coast. And they're, they're run from Trinity House, just around the corner. You can see the building in, in Harwich, so the head office of Trinity House. Now, let's go back a little bit in history, uh, quite a way back to one of the very first people to be involved with Radio Caroline. This is Alan Turner, who was there on the Fredericia, the original Caroline ship, just days after it started. That's the case, Alan? Morning, Ray. Morning, everybody. Yes, that is the case. Fifty years ago, I was here when it all started. And you would have gone out from Harwich. Would you tell us about the journey, your first journey out to the Radio uh, Caroline ship? We left from Hapney Pier in those days, and we had a river tug called the Hooligan. And it was skippered by an East Ender with a very, very deep, gruff voice. And when he was on his way to Caroline, which was off Baldsey, just a few miles up the coast, he used to call Caroline on the radio and he'd come on the radio and call Caroline, 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 Hooligan, 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 and Hooligan was the name of the tug. <laughs> <laughs> there have been some amazing boatmen that have served as Caroline over the years and, and still continue to do that as well because, of course, the Caroline ship still continues. I'd best give Nick a mention because he's the 2017 version of your hooligan, hooligan, hooligan <laughs> guy. How did you get involved? I met Ronan in London in early 64. Um, I came back from the Far East where I got my basic grounding in uh, commercial radio because all the forces broadcasting units are run as commercial stations. And I met Ronan, and I had already done several auditions for some of these embryonic stations trying to get off the ground. But, of course, they were all trying to start up their uh, radio shows, or radio programs, on shore. And I said to Ronan, I said, well, hang on a minute. How are you going to get off the ground when all these other people, who were very well financed, I might say, um, uh, you know, they can't get anywhere because the BBC says no and the government says no. And he said, well, I've got a ship. And he said, we're going to sail outside the three-mile limit and do what we like. And that's what we did. What was so special about Radio Caroline? What is so special? You speak to anybody of a certain age, even youngsters that weren't around at the time, and you say those two magical words, they, they can get you into any restaurant, a, a, any pub, any bar, a, anywhere. You, you just mention Radio Caroline and, and suddenly doors open. Well, it was a magic uh, time, the 60s. It was a wonderful period to live through, and anybody that lived through it then uh, will remember it well. And um, when Caroline started, you know, we had no real pop music at all in the UK. And many people today can't understand that uh, life without pop music didn't basically exist for young people in, in those days. It's, it's started a whole industry, hasn't it? I mean, Britain yeah. leads the way still with music, oh, and yeah. it would be nowhere had it not been for these guys. It made an awful lot of pop groups and singers at Radio Caroline, and many of them admit it. And many, many records have been produced in, uh, in embodying the, the name of Caroline. We're not going to play one of those now, but we will play one of those songs that was played regularly on Radio Caroline 50 years ago. An Australian guy, there were strong links between Caroline the Pirates and the Commonwealth countries, Canada and Australia. This is one that had connections to the Bee Gees as well. It's Johnny Young is the guy and Craze Finton Kirk. You won't have heard this for a while. Enjoy. Enjoy. 